Hello folks, Irene Krause providing you with a quick verbal update on this particular game. This went rather typically uh, for in the first oh, hour to 45 minutes or so, after which things went very bad very quickly. So rather than break this game session down as I normally do, I decided to keep it all in one rather large file. So hope you enjoy. Bye for now. Well, hello everyone. Irene Krauss playing as Athena Artist back with you. Uh, yes, this is after getting my laptop back from being fixed, but then finding that I'm not sure why, if it was because there was an update with my software and so forth, or the changes that they did with the laptop, I'm having no end of tech issues with trying to continue with my saved game files in surviving the aftermath. I'm not sure why, and I'm getting just too frustrated with it in trying to figure that out. I will have by now posted the final uh, portion of my last play session where my recording is fine, so you'll be able to see me play up through to that point. But I really think, and I again, I don't know what's gone on, but I think I'm going to have to start over again. And seeing as I am doing that, I am going to go, we're going to go really hard. And yeah, let's turn the turquoise off. We're going to go down to the Armageddon setting, folks. All the way down. Now, this is the ideology. I think I'm going to change it now just so you can start to get an idea of how these things differ. We're going to go with the tech focus on health and safety. And... We're going to go with my two favorite fighters here. Again, with my purple background. But seeing as we are going so harsh, I'm going with the fish. <laughs> and we'll go with calling it Krause Haven. Hopefully, I'm not going to have anything happen to my laptop for a while so that uh, I could keep going with this in spite of things. So here we go, folks. Here we go with our opening cinematic. And our lowly little specialist, or whatever you want to call our settler we've got here. Let me zoom out a bit and try to straighten my view out just a little bit. Um, okay, we've got two piles of plastic right over there. It's a little bit of... pollution here and there. Let's see how far I can get that right there. Let's boost our speed up so we won't be waiting quite so long for things to happen. And there we go. Now, let me pause my game and take a look over my starting area. Now you see we've got a couple piles of wood, some more plastic, 
Oh, well, there's one wooden. Oh, and we've got some water up in here. Okay. Another wood. All kinds of pollution. Okay. I think this is a decent, it's, it's very, very, as you can see, barren, which is what you're going to get with this kind of a map. Um, which means food is going to become a really, really big challenge very, very quickly, as there is water. Waiting for us. Let's go ahead and bring our inhabitants in. There we go. We've reached a milestone. And here we go. Get ready to start. Now, as you can see with this sort of a start, we're going to be dealing with a lot of deaths and a lot of struggle. This is going to be... I don't know if I'm going to be able to keep this colony viable, but I will do my darndest. So first things first, oh, let's see if I think it would be best over here. Let's see, yeah, there we go. As close as I can get to this straightish sort of edge there. Now, I think because of all this wonderful pollution going on, I'm going to set up my housing sort of in this area. So let's figure out where we've got all this plastic. Let's put our first stockpile, our freebie one. We'll put that kind of out here in the middle of things. Now the only green wood area, the wood wooded area that I can see is right here, this very, very narrow strip. Oh, there is one right up in there. And this would be handy for any sort of fishing I would be doing. So let's put that up there. That's my two free ones that I get. Okay. Right. Now let's have you collect from this wood pile and How may I help? let's have you collect from that one. Now The first building I want you to actually build is going to be my medical tent. This is going to be where my housing's all going to be. So let's put our tent right in here and we'll kind of build them along out in here and then coming down this way so we can have a fair number of medical tents there. Next building I want them to build is going to be my recycler, which is going to go right out here near where my stockpile is going to go. Ah. Uh, Yes, we're going to be putting in a fishery and a trapper. I don't know if I should aim for that or this. I'm 
going to let that go for just right now. Let's kick things going. Okay, this... We're going to point our work area. Let's see, I don't... See, I'm going to get that one and that other one. Put that right to there for now. And now this one. Let's point our work area. I don't really see too much. It's just that one fruit thing there. There's... We can't quite get that one up there. Well, I guess I can. There we go. Get some fruit going. There we go. So we got some food collection. Now comes the other fun part, because we are going to need more water. Let's see. Uh, very low there. And I can't put anything there that's not explored. Okay, so what about out in here? Why, that's really low. Can't go that far. That's uh, three, four. Four looks to be about the best of what I can get there. Uh, that's apparently not explored. And none of this is opened up yet. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and put one down here. Even though it is such a low yield. Just so I have some other area of water. Okay, they're building me my home, my medical tent. Oh, and I do want to change this. We don't want them putting any food in here. So forth. I'll keep a fair number of things out. Let's see. I got the medical tent done. We want this built next. go. Okay, now I am going to put my second person in here right now, simply so I can get 
some plastic gathered fairly quickly. Now I have to decide where I'm going to put. Uh, let's do the fishery next. And let's see. No. I wanted to do it right in here, and it's not explored enough yet. So I can't do it just yet. Let's go ahead and put... I'll put my trapper down. If I have to, I can always move it. We'll see. Oh, and I need to put down outhouses. I was going to put that. Let's see. I don't think I need to build quite this many with this one because I don't have so I have so few people. Put one outhouse down for now and that gets built. We'll worry about building other ones. Go ahead, get this one built next. And we get our plastics up in here for this. That should be sufficient housing for right now. We should get our plastics up here for this. bit of plastic up there. And get it built. How we doing on our water wells? Where's our water wells? Down in here somewhere. Okay, now, this is a very, very inefficient area, but it is what we've got for now. It looks like this in here is about the best we can get. And no, I'm only putting one person to work in there. 
Because I've got to get these water wells built. Start that as well. Here comes our first water well. go. Now our second one is right here. Got enough plastic. It's just getting it brought down here. My specialists aren't doing anything. Let me zoom in here just to make sure I don't see any critters that is hostile critters just yet. Got this big area over here. I don't see anything moving yet. Uh huh. Let's set you. Yes. To collecting those two up. Someone's been stealing planks. Someone seems to have been stealing wood. Yeah, let's leave that alone. Oh, so they've got enough over here, so all we gotta do is wait for someone to build it. we go. Well, it went from two to nine. Yeah, so we're still going to run short if our water collector runs out of operation. So... Where is it here? Here it is. Let's get that built next. And let's see if we can't 
Nope, it's still not opened up enough. Yeah, here comes the heat wave. Uh, it says it's a hundred percent scouted though. So much as I hate to do it, I'm gonna have to build a scouting tower just so I can get more of this area opened up for us so I can put my fishery in and so forth. Hopefully I won't lose too many people in this heat wave. Oh good, they got everything moved over for this. So we should have everybody under shelter. And they're building my clean water storage. There we go. How are we doing on our outhouse? Got the plastic over here, but not the wood. That's interesting. Okay, so we're just waiting for a builder. There's our heat wave. Put down a second outhouse. Let's see. Put it right next to our other one. There. Colonist has an idea. One of the colonists approaches, looking more than a little nervous. She says that she might be able to provide some clothing for the colony. Well, we're going to give her the fiber and give her the chance. Let's see what happens. Oh, she succeeded. So we've got a few more clothing items. And there's somebody wanting a shower. I'm just waiting for a builder here on this. Well, thankfully, it doesn't take them very long to build an outhouse. There we go. How much? Oh, they've got everything here. Let's go ahead and get this built.
somebody radiated. Got a little bit of venison. And obviously some fruit. There's our scout tower done. All right. Let's see, you come over and gather from this one. Yep. And let's see, is there one out here anywhere? Well, you go ahead and pick up from this one. Now, where do I want to put my fishery? Right here wouldn't be a bad idea. A little bit of a curve there. enough. Looks like oh. something's off with a shelter. Not everybody is equally skilled in the art of yeah. We've adjusted, made some adjustments against his wishes, but that makes everyone else happy. Get through this heat wave here. Looks like they're just about. Yeah. That looks to be pretty good right there. Okay, I'm taking my extra person out of here. So I have someone for the fishery. When that gets built. See, where's my uh... Yeah, let's point it there. I don't know if... Well, that is a bit better, isn't it? Let's see. I thought I saw 96 there. No. Alright, that's good enough. There we go. Oh. <sighs> All right. 
right. This got hit. Yeah, repair. Well, that's okay. That got hit. These look okay. Getting contaminated, but of course that's going to happen. Okay. Everything else looks okay. Okay, let's turn that off. Let's see. If I can get... Ooh, that's a six. Seven? gonna build this one next. Yes, we're gonna change the priority. And I'm gonna go ahead and demolish this one. So we could free up some more resources. We can wait on continuing our explorations until after we get our gate built. Next thing I should think about, now we've got all these repairs to do, we need to put in our burner. Try to get that here in between all those Yeah, there we go. Looks like they're, yeah, they're busy picking berries still. My specialists, that is.
There's a commotion in the camp. Suddenly, muffled cries oh. for help start echoing from one of the shelters. Inside, a large hole has opened up in the ground, swallowing the poor colonist. Well, apparently, I don't have quite enough wood to be able to build a makeshift ladder, so we're going to have to climb up without one. Well, I know. That didn't make people very... I didn't get a happiness boost that time. That's okay. We will continue to do the best we can with what we've got. Okay, so we've got... Uh, we do need to do this. Now, let me see. We're going to need to build... And I am going to give them... Let's see... There's a fair amount of wooded area out here. In addition to all this... I don't know if I'm building this just yet. But I am going to give them a stockpile to put things in. I should put in a second food storage, just so I'm not reliant on one. Where are... I don't really see any food berries or anything over in here. I guess I can build one, just to have a secondary storage location. Yeah, we got that built. How are we doing with this? This is gonna go to build next now. Okay, I think I'm going to take my two specialists off uh -huh. berry duty and yes. put them on wood gathering duty again. And I think I'll actually take my person here out help them with getting some of these construction spots done. We 
and here comes our fishery. Fishing pier. And remember, this one will freeze up in the coming winter months. We will not, I don't, I'm hoping we'll still be able to get, seeing as I changed my ideology, I'm hoping we'll still be able to unlock the ice fishing upgrade for the fishery. There. Got a fair amount of venison. We should start getting some fish. And we did get some, quite a bit of fruit gathered. I'm going to go ahead and resume this. Let them build this next. I guess you ran you out need? of wood on your pile. Uh, go ahead and grab that pile. Oh, it's rabbit season! Three colonists explain they've been working on a new kind of a trap for hunting rabbits, and the group wants to set them outside the camp. Okay! Here we go. Let's see if we're going to get anything this time. Nope. We didn't get anything, and they managed to get some radiation sickness. Well, just never know how that's going to go. Oh, they went and built that other food storage. Well, like I said, I don't... Oh, there is a berry bush down here. I don't see any other ones. I was pointed at that one. Didn't know they were going to build my... That's not too contaminated yet. Uh, it's getting there. Yeah, this is about done. <laughs> so now we're... Oh, no, 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 no. Yep. Run away. <sighs> Let's let you get recovered, and then we'll bring the two of you over. Deal with a sandstorm. See, this is what I was afraid of. We've got a medical tent built. We only got the one.
Well, they're getting there. Watch this. Hopefully they're going to be able to take that out. Yes. You need to run away. That one taken care of, at least. The fishery has been damaged. Colonists is being berated and pushed around by their neighbors. We're gonna tell them to fetch the fish. And then what we're gonna do is... Where is it here? We're going to demolish it so we can recover whatever we can so that we can use those resources, hopefully, to get our logging camp built. Okay. I'm going to put an extra person to work in there. Okay, I'm going to put two people in here, and I want them to, yeah, 70's fine for now. now. Did they get my burner built down here? Yes, they did. Excellent. So, yep. Your orders. I don't see any other other than the big ones. All right. Collect from that one then. Colonist is poisoned. Delirious colonist is carried into the camp. 
we're going to have to take the risk because we are out of medicine. We're going to have to take the risk. And got another person infected. Looks like we're just barely keeping ahead the snow and the cold. But we'll get through the winter. It looks like we got all that pile cleaned up. Someone that's hypothermic. It should correct itself, I hope. Our burner is still going. Our berries are running low, too. our deer. They're right there. Okay, we're gonna start No, I don't think I can do that. I think I'm going to have to go ahead and build my lumber yard next. Colonists appears. What? One of the colonists, a meek woman no one has really paid attention to before, comes to view. Okay. Some things about mushrooms and medicines. Well, let's let her try. All right. So we did get some science points. Now, yes, there is ice fishing there. Good. Oh, okay. Let's see, it used to be, yeah, here it is. 
Oh, and I don't have enough to do those. Oh, that's to add more into my guard patrols. Well, all right, what can I do over here? Well, it's not enough to unlock skinning. Uh, no, it's not enough to do anything there or there or there. Well, one of the things I am going to have to put more of a priority on with this type of a map is improving the wells. So where are the drilled wells in this? Oh boy. They're way over there, aren't they? <sighs> well, there's not much of anything I can do about any of this right now. Like I said, I've never played on this particular ideology. Seem to be just keeping ahead. Of the firewood on the firewood for the burner. Mainly, I want to get all of the wood over there for that. I'm actually going to pause it now until our winter is over. Yes, we're running out of clothing and tools and everything. Start putting my specialists into some scavenging again. Okay. <laughs> rats are eating the crops, but we don't have anything planted. Pesky rats have taken a liking to the crops and could very well eat away a huge chunk of them. Oh, I think that's so funny. Okay, let's trap them. Lured by the promise of a tasty meal. But the rats rush out before they're caught. Oh, and now we're under attack. Okay. Where are they? Huh? 
You can attack that one. Here comes another one. some rats. Okay. Let's repair that. Your orders? What's up? Pick up all that food. Gosh. Oh, thought I had started them putting the stuff down here for the gate. captured something. A group of Ooh, colonists are pulling a, a big bear. Of fur, paws, and teeth behind them. It's a living bear. Oh. We're definitely killing it. Yes, I know that made people upset, but get any of our building, or tents, rather I should say, not buildings, damaged. for about past the winter if I could take my extra person out of the uh, making firewood Is that ever contaminated? Let's put that in for decontamination. It seems like the weather is starting to warm up. I can hear the wind sounds starting to diminish. Birds starting to tweet.
can pause that. Only got two people. One person infected, one person irradiated. I'm going to need to put somebody back into the plastics recycler. Maybe I am. Oh, good lord. Tents critically damaged. All right. Repair. That one's okay. That's okay. So I lost one tent. Oh, this got damaged too. Let's put someone to work in there. Is that it for the damage? Well, it looks like that's it for the damage. Go ahead and cancel that construction just so we can recover those resources. And we'll have to rebuild our tent again. I got one little colonist running around doing all my repairs. Let's put a pause on this for right now. Oh, they're repairing this one. And they're decontaminating. Okay, good. That's done. Okay. That's almost repaired. And they're decontaminating. should bring over enough plastics for this. I know it's not the greatest of shelters, but it is what we've got. Oh, 
It's rabbit season again, folks. Isn't that exciting? Three colonists explain they've been working on a new kind of a trap for hunting rabbits. And the group wants to set them outside the camp. Well, <laughs> let's see what happens this time. And nope, we still didn't get any rabbits. And we got two people sick with radiation sickness. Go ahead, start harvesting from there again. waiting for the plastic. One of our kids grew up. That's how I was our only child, too. Okay, there we go. We've got the tent finished. So, once again, we should have everyone in shelter. Let's go ahead and resume this now. Okay, a colonist has an idea. One of the colonists We don't have any fiber left. <laughs> a little nervous. She says that she might be able to provide some clothing for the colony. Well, unfortunately, we're out of fiber. So, yeah. We don't have any to spare. Oh. All right. Yes. So we're going to have to get this finished then.
Let's drop our protection limit down on this significantly. Let's put it And that's going to need decontamination pretty soon. <laughs> okay, we're going to... Start harvesting some wood. Hopefully we're going to get enough here so we can build our gate. I take my person back out of here again, I think. Good lord. Okay. Anything get damaged? Doesn't look like it. Oh. My lumber yard got damaged. Okay. Two steps forward, one step back. I have enough plastic. It's the wood that's going to take a while yet. And no, I can't use my specialists to move those resources around. Okay, there's my plastic. Well, I've kept everybody alive up to now. Hasn't been easy, but... They do have food, and they do have some shelter. They got water. doing about as well as I could be doing at this point.
And remember, they're starting to run around now without tools. And without clothing. Tools in particular, remember they're probably... We've reached a milestone. Oh, we just had a baby. They're whacking at things with sticks and stones. So this is going to take a while. Well, what got opened up by having a baby born? Oh, it's some of our decorative things. <sighs> decorative items. Pretty far, far down the list of needs at this point. <laughs> oh, and now I have hiccups. Pardon me. Let them decontaminate that, but no, I don't want them. I'll put another person in here. Couple is arguing. Commotion is formed in the middle of the colony. Okay. In my opinion, kids should be educated. No, we're not going to let them play, that's for sure. There we go. I'm a firm believer in education.
Oh, and now we've got another heat wave coming. That's okay, we should do fine. Getting there slowly but surely. That's gonna be the hallmark of this sort of play, is it just takes you a very, very long time to accomplish things. Because so much of your time has to be devoted to survival. I thought they were bringing some more wood down, but... I think I better put my Your command You could collect from Red. there. You could collect from there. have been depressed lately. A colonist has an idea. He'd like to make an instrument, citing how music will surely lift the spirits around the colony. Well, personally, I think drums would be great myself. Um... Let's go ahead and build the harp. Help us get through this. Patch. Oh! We have everything over here. Excellent. So we're going to get our gate built finally, folks. Congratulations! You've rebuilt the gate and gained access to the world map. The gate is now open, and the vast world stands ready for your specialists to explore. This progress has not gone unnoticed, though. Soon, your colony will begin attracting various folks. Some good, others desperate, some tricksters, and those who just want to see you destroyed. Okay! We've reached a milestone. So let's get our extra 
person into the gate. There are survivors at the gate. And there's our first group of colonists. Which yes. Ragged bunch shuffles slowly towards the gate. And we have our first extra specialist. Seven adults, one child, no elders. Three clothing, no tools? Oh, darn. Okay. Uh -huh. We're gonna send you to the world map and looks like we're gonna need three more tents. So... One... Two... And three... We're gonna put one person in here. Um... We are going to build another medical tent. Uh, right there. Okay. I'm going to wait to build my guard post till I get that unlocked. Let's go ahead and put our fishing pier back in where we had it. Okay, there we go. And reporting it. Are you Wow, you discovered all of this area, but no technology? Wow. Wow. Huge, vast area unlocked. Anything up in here? I don't see anything. Oh. Oh my goodness. Wow! I didn't know it was going to be quite so different. Well... There's no place to look? Are you supposed to get technology reports and so forth? There's nothing to find. I don't see... No, I don't see anything. So I guess you have to rely on the... Uh, 
Just bring okay. her back into the colony. I guess we're gonna have to rely on people coming to us to any technology points we find. I didn't know we were going to have to... Wow. Well, then I guess I am gonna go back with the Scout Tower. See any idea where there would be some metal that I could see? One there. to the gate. These people have clearly been through a lot. They look frail and are likely easy to overpower. But the look on their faces... Okay. We are getting low on water. Let's see. Well, I haven't explored far enough. Oh, none of this is unlocked. There was a six there somewhere. Or was it? At least I thought I saw a six. I guess we'll just have to go with a five. Okay, our fishing pier is done. One of our new tents built.
Let's see, that's shut down during the heat wave. Yes, I know there's a water shortage. I'm quite aware. There's a new quest available. Nuclear beast. An old nuclear power plant looms in the distance. Its monolithic cooling towers reaching toward the once blue sky. Their prominence has made them prime targets for scavengers. But a formidable beast has made its lair in one of the plants and has kept looters at bay. So I'm going to have to probably take one of my fighters in there. Oh. 